This is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part six of the TiVo Tarantula build. In this one, we're going to do the X motor bracket. So go ahead and grab bag B-5. Grab your acrylic piece that looks like this. We're going to need a motor, and then we're going to need your tool bag as well. Go ahead and start by peeling off the paper backing off of the acrylic on both sides. Now something very important with the acrylic piece, you're going to notice the motor bracket is higher up on one side than the other. We're going to want to make sure that we install this a specific way, otherwise your piece is going to be backward, which is really confusing in the build guide and it's kind of a pain. Make sure your motor connector is sticking out the bottom there. And we're going to go ahead and open up the hardware bag and we're going to get some of these small M3 bolts. And we're going to use three of them in three holes to secure the motor to the acrylic piece. The fourth hole, we're going to actually use a longer bolt and an idler wheel, which is what the belt is going to run over. So there's the idler. You're also going to get a spacer. What you're going to do is you're going to take the spacer and put it on the acrylic piece, then go ahead and install the idler on the bolt, and install the idler and bolt onto the spacer and go ahead and tighten it. It's not going to tighten down all the way, so don't try and crank it to force it. So there you can see the motor installed with the idler wheel. Now go ahead and grab four of the shorter M4 bolts. And make sure to install them through the back side that the motor enters through, just like shown in the video. Grab a T-nut and install it just a couple threads on the bolt though. We're going to tighten them down later. Do that for all four of these bolt holes. Now we're going to grab the gear out of our pile of parts. Go ahead and remove that plastic coating. The set screws should already be installed in the gear. And we're going to go ahead and install the gear onto our motor shaft now. We're going to make sure to align the teeth of the gear with the idler. Also make sure you use that flat spot as we did previously and align it with a set screw. Go ahead and tighten that one down first. Make sure the gear and the idler are aligned so the belt will run smoothly. And then tighten down the other set screw. Now we can go ahead and move that off to the side. And we're going to work on the Delrin idlers. I just like to go through and separate off all the items so that I know exactly what I have to work with. To start, go ahead and grab one of the large bolts and an idler wheel. Go ahead and get that installed on there. Next we're going to get two of the locking washers and a spacer. Go ahead and repeat that process once. Now we're going to do the eccentric spacers, so get a bolt, a Delrin idler, one locking washer, and one eccentric spacer, and then repeat that process once more.
Now we're going to install one of the wheels with the eccentric spacer in the large hole. And then go ahead and get an M5 nut to install it. Do the ones with the spacers, just the nylon spacers, through the small holes. And once again, secure them with an M5 nut. Last one is with an eccentric spacer. Now we can use our wrench and another Allen wrench to go through and tighten those down. Don't over tighten them. Uh, you don't want them to wiggle and move around though, but the wheels still need to be able to turn. Okay, and now we are all done with the X motor assembly. This is what it should look like.